an inspiring interview for you now. She was just crowned Miss West Yellowstone. And at the young age of eight, she is trying to deliver toys to every children's hospital in every state. Including right here at Intermountain Primary Children's Hospital this month, in fact, later today, all while facing a battle of her own. Her story is definitely inspiring. And here to tell us more is Elena Hutchings and her father, Danny. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you come from Montana and you've brought some toys, huh? Yeah. A lot of toys. What kind of toys? So we breed fidgets and Barbies and Barbie mermaids, right, Dad? I don't there. know if there's any of those in there, maybe. There's Legos. I hope so. Barbie and, mermaids are cool. Yeah. And Legos, I think. Yep, there's Legos and Play-Doh, crayons, coloring pencils, and a hundred Wrangler stick horses. Elena, why all the toys that you have packed? In a, is it in a truck? Is it in a trailer? No, it's in a truck. In a truck, and you're taking them to Primary Children's today at 2 o'clock. Why are you doing that? Tell me what you're trying to do. Because they barely don't have any toys. We are giving them more toys to let the kids be more happy and have a lot of fun. Danny. Dad, when you hear your daughter speak about doing so many other things, being heroes to other patients, when she is a patient herself, what runs through your mind? Well, there's a lot of things that run through my mind. You know, a lot is trying to keep up with it all. Because <laughs> it's like every month she's like, let's do this one, let's do this one. And it's like we're working on four at once. But, you know, to know somebody that's going through what she goes through, I would think it'd be extremely tough if I was going through it, you know, dealing with a tumor or cancer and just, you know, trying to focus on, you know, not just yourself, but everybody else around you and in the world. Danny, share with us her diagnosis a year and a half ago. So she was diagnosed uh, with an unoperable brain tumor. Uh, it's embedded in her brain stem. And we didn't know, you know, when a parent hears about a kid having tumor or cancer, that's the last thing you want to hear about from anything, especially so young. Uh, so, you know, we didn't know what life was going to bring to everything, but, you know, she helped us work through it, you know, her inspiration, you know, a part of, a part of things she started, she started singing the song about her tumor. We're like, kind of like, it feels like, why are you singing the song? And we're like, St stop singing the song. But, you know, it was a way for her to inspire herself or, or, or not inspire, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, to deal with what she's going through. Uh, so, yeah, she, she's, a, she's a rock star. I know as a parent, that has got to be such a gut-wrenching diagnosis, and also to see her, but so proud at the same time to see how strong she is on days that she can do what she wants to do and take her mind off her illness and help someone else. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, an editor uh, told, uh, told me once, she's like, uh, Lena's story is an inspiration of power. He said, for someone so young and courageous to reach to so many, especially at such a young age, he, he's like, you know, what she does is what, you know, older people should be doing. And, but to see what a seven-year-old, now eight-year-old, can do and reach out to people. Driving state to state with your family, delivering toys to other kids. Also, you just became Miss West Yellowstone. Tell us a little bit about that and all the things you brought. So, I got crowned like at Miss West Yellowstone, and that's where I got these. These, this stand up. Will you stand up and show us those? Yeah, because those are pretty darn cool. Dashes. Mm -hmm. Wait, come over here. Come around and show that your name. There it's you all personalized. Oh. Okay, so cute. And what about this, mm -hmm. Elena? Uh. So, uh, I there got go. this uh, at this type of store. They made this for me, mm -hmm. and I absolutely don't know how they made this. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, Elena, you are Come raising funds for other kids who are also suffering an illness at the hospital. Ride for life. 
You guys are traveling all across the country. You can donate. You have a GoFundMe, oh. right? And we'll put that website up for all the people who can donate and help Elena's cause. You must be so proud. Oh, yeah. It's a big task to reach her goals. I'll do all 50 states in three years. So that means we have to do 13 to 14 states a year. Can you do that? How are you feeling today? Great. You're great. feeling great. Yeah. Thank you for stopping by our Good Things Utah set. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Okay, good. Hopefully we reached all those viewers out there and they're going to help you reach your goal. ABC4.com slash GTU for more. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Elena. I know mom and brother are out there too. We'll be Say right wave. back with more after this.